Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a quick planner update. I am kind of sprawled out on the floor because I have this big happy planner, or not big, but big to me. It's a classic sized um, happy planner. And I didn't buy anything for this. Um, these are kind of like leftovers from 2022. I had um, some 22, 23 inserts. And um, I, I don't know, I just kind of go back to this when I'm feeling sort of stuck. Um, I feel like everything I'm using I'm not really happy with right now, kind of including this, but um, I've been kind of just gravitating towards this last week and this week. Um, so I thought I would share a flip through. So this is a heavy planner cover which I like better than the plastic covers that they come with. Um, the only thing is I feel like it doesn't turn as well on the discs and it could also be because these are plastic discs. I'm not sure if metal would work better, but I really liked the Turtis um, kind of color on these. And so I just have some stickers here. I have an inbox that I made with like sort of getting things done inspired um, and then from there I have a Virgo and paper goals workbook and this is something I just printed out um, last week it's a freebie on her site um, and so I'm sort of kind of going through I didn't really set any yearly goals I kind of always struggle with thinking about things big picture um, but I have thought of a couple things um, that I might like to do before the year is up and there's still six months left. So um, I'm kind of going in and filling things out as I have time. And so there's that. Um, then this is a meal plan that I printed out um, from Amy's Nutritarian Kitchen. So it's like a whole foods plant-based um, Kind of vegan I guess way of eating and so I'm testing some of the recipes out and um, just easier to have it printed out so I can have it out on my counter when I am meal prepping and then we get into the planner section so again this is 22 23 I think this was like modern farmhouse or home what is it I'm not happy homestead happy something um, but it's also a lot of mixed things which you'll see um so we've got the yearly overview kind of just tracking my cycle here um then we have a year at a glance that i'm using like some work things but also like health log i think i'll probably be doing going forward um and then the dividers are from the goals planner or extension pack I think it was um, and so I just did like a little collage here to kind of I don't know make it less happy plannery <laughs> I kind of more cozy I guess and then um, here's my July monthly so I've got kind of my goals written out sort of just like high level and then just kind of keeping it really simple I like having a lot of space in here uh, I find with like my personal file effects, my Hobonichi weeks, especially my moleskin pocket, like there's just not a lot of space to be specific in some things or to give extra details. Um, so I really like how big this is. Um, then this is where things start to get mixed up. So the back is the goals, set goals for this month page. And it came with like a second page here, which I took out. Um, and so I did use this to brainstorm kind of in more detail of these goals. Um, but I think I might need more space for goals for next month. I'm not sure. And so I did try this monthly plan. Um, but I don't think this is going to be what I need. So I might take this out. Um, and then from there we go into the weeklies. And these are old um, 2022 
vertical weeklies that I redated basically because um, the layout that I have is this so this is what kind of came with everything and I thought I would really like it but I don't um, I don't like how big the chunks are for the time um, and I don't have so much going on schedule wise that I think I would use this so for now I'm just kind of redating um, some vertical inserts trying to be really functional um, this is really messy like my kids came in and you know drew on stuff I dropped some water and it kind of smeared um, and so this was last week when I actually started this was kind of back plan the last half of the other week and then I just didn't really feel like doing the first half um, so again just basically to-do list I'm kind of using this top for like um, events of all day events or meetings things that i need to remember these are to do's and then these are like memories or notes um i did include a tracker down here last week but i'm going for this week move it um to the side because i found when i got to saturday i wanted this space to write some notes down so like you can see i've got some spending kind of all over and so for this week i um, had everything at the bottom and so this week is laid out it looks messy but it works for me I think part of it is because I started to use different pens um, so we've got trackers and then up top I'm sort of doing like my top three tasks and then again just like meetings events kind of things and then to-do list the notes uh, memories and then the bottom here I have for spending log um, and so that's kind of how I'm planning to use this going forward. Um, like, is it perfect? No. Do I love it? Not all the time. <laughs> like sometimes I really like, oh, this is just what I need. I think part of it is because it's, I'm so used to smaller planners, like the pocket day designer, moleskin, weeks, um, that this feels so big, but then also it's nice just to have everything kind of fit and not really worry about needing space and then with the discs I like that you can fold on it on itself um, and so like when it's out on my desk it really doesn't take up much more space than like my personal rings when it's folded open um, so that's nice and then in the back here I have um, some dailies. These are dailies that I made last year that are kind of inspired from the Happy Planner dailies. I'm just always kind of trying to find ways to save money. So this was Wednesday last week. Um, and so again, like <laughs> my daughter came in and doodled some, drew some things. So and I didn't use it. I haven't used one so far this week. Um, sometimes when all of this could fit in my weekly, but if I'm feeling sort of overwhelmed, um, I like just having one page to focus on everything, but I don't foresee me having like a day per page pretty often because I don't want like a giant stack of dailies. Um, so, and then I just have some notes pages, um, kind of brainstorming like my planning and stuff. Um, and that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. I've found that um, I'm kind of just taking it day by day. I think like I was really tempted to buy some more um, like a new 2324 happy planner but I'm trying really hard to stick to my no spend this um, month and really just like going forward I feel like we've got six months left in the year like I don't need a new planner I have so many that I can and be using without needing to spend any more money so uh, if this is something that sticks then I'll maybe buy a 2024 um, vertical and maybe like a daily extension pack to have some dailies pre-printed um, I do really like just kind of having everything ready to go 
Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I know this is sort of different from what I have been sharing, but I just kind of needed like something different, something simple. Um, you know, I'm not big into stickering like on the weeks like normal happy planners, but I feel like this works. So um, yeah, I also like tried to find other vertical planners with this same layout. Um, and so there's a passion planner kind of, but I don't like the hourly, um, the commit 30 has some like bottom boxes that I'm not really a fan of. Um, there's Hemlock and Oak, which is A5, but I'm not, I don't know, I'm not really into grid at the moment. What other ones have I looked at? Um, I also did consider like an A5 Filofax, but I had an A5 Mal not Malden, Finsbury that I gave away, and when it's open, it is like the size of this, even though the pages are smaller. So it didn't really save me any space um, on my desk. And plus like this, I said, you can just fold it on itself, which is convenient for couch planning, which I've been doing a lot of, um, kind of like at the night, at night and on the weekends. But yeah, um, if you guys kind of have any suggestions, I guess, on like happy planner things that are maybe a little bit more functional and less decorative, um, any kind of channels that I should watch, uh, please let me know. Or any disc recommendations. I know there are other brands like Levenger and Jane's Agenda. Um, I was watching Planning with, I think, JBM or MJB. I always forget her handle. I'll, I'll write it below. But she had some other rings to discs that were, I think, like... Oh, I can't remember. So... Um, I do have a Happy Planner Punch that I've had for a couple years. Um, yeah, so this is kind of what's going on for July. Um, I'm still sort of keeping up my um, Filofax, personal Filofax, but it's just kind of feeling really squished lately. So I like having the space to spread out with my notes and just kind of everything. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.